Pluto. Since its official discovery in the early 20th century, Pluto has long been considered as the ninth planet from the Sun and the sixth planet from the Earth. That is, until recently. In the year 2006, Pluto has been reclassified by the International Astronomical Union, or IAU for short, as a dwarf planet. It is so far away that for centuries, astronomers and scientists alike were unable to study it as extensively as they would have wanted. Because of the rapid improvement in technology, whether in computers, telescope design, or even the use of spacecraft to penetrate to deep space, more light has been shed on this far-flung planet of the solar system. In just 100 years, much has been known about Pluto than in all the years combined after Galileo Galilei first pointed his telescope to the stars. Since the time that astronomers were able to use very powerful telescopes and peer into the night sky, they were dumbfounded by a scientific phenomenon. They observed that the orbit of Neptune did not quite follow the rules of Newtonian physics. According to the director of New York City's Hayden Planetarium, scientists saw the path of Neptune around the Sun, and they saw that it wasn't quite following Newton's laws of gravity. Either Sir Isaac Newton was wrong, or there was some other mass out there that they hadn't cataloged yet that was influencing the motion of Neptune. From that day forward, until the discovery of the mysterious mass orbiting behind Neptune, astronomers labeled this heavenly body as Planet X. It only required a dedicated astronomer with the right tools to discover what is behind this phenomenon. In 1930, an American astronomer made a commitment to discover the explanation as to why Neptune behaved that way. His name was Clyde Tombaugh, an employee of the Lowell Observatory. He was not even the chief astronomer there, but a mere observing assistant in the facility made famous by astronomer Percival Lowell. Regardless, he was determined to discover Planet X. After a year of painstaking research and long nights of studying photographic plates, Tombaugh finally had his Eureka moment on February 18, 1930, when he was comparing two plates taken one month before by flicking the plates from one plate to the other. Tombaugh hoped to spot the difference. As he was repeating the process, he saw a tiny speck in the photo, a small object a few millimeters in size. That was the planet he was looking for. His discovery changed the way people see the solar system. Tombaugh, on the other hand, received the recognition he richly deserved. There is no need to point out that Pluto is the farthest entity in the solar system. It is estimated to be 30 times smaller than Mercury, and therefore it is smaller than the Earth's moon. It is also one five hundredth the size of planet Earth. These facts and new discoveries forced many to initiate a debate on whether to call Pluto a planet, or a comet, or a piece of rock that simply orbits around the Sun. As stated earlier, Pluto was officially reclassified as a dwarf planet by the IAU in 2006. When it comes to Pluto, there are more questions than answers. Scientists are also fascinated by its different behavior as compared to the other eight planets that populate the solar system. For instance, in 1979, it was first discovered that Pluto only gets to complete its orbit after more than 200 years of movement around the Sun. But there is more. This dwarf planet has a highly elliptical orbit. Once its orbit is complete, it inserts itself between Uranus and Neptune. This is an unsettling fact for some, but a source of fascination for others. The aberration in the orbit may occur once every two centuries, but is not rectified as quickly as one will expect. As mentioned earlier, the shift in orbit was noticed in 1979, but it was only corrected in February 11th, 1999. Almost 20 years of staying within the orbits of Uranus and Neptune. 
Due to its distance and position relative to the Sun, astronomers always associate Pluto with ice and a frigid climate. It is also easy to dismiss it as nothing more than a chunk of ice and rock. But recent developments suggest that there is more to Pluto than what scientists believe is possible. Mark Buey, a planetary scientist, discovered that Pluto has undergone some dramatic surface changes that prompted him and other scientists to conclude that it has become redder in color. Buey and even his colleagues do not have an explanation as to why Pluto is undergoing significant changes like this. At first, they thought that it was due to elevated levels of ultraviolet rays from the sun. Now they have abandoned this explanation because they believe that the sun's rays were constant at the time that Pluto showed these changes. They are more likely to go with the second explanation. They said that Pluto's distance from the sun, coupled with a 248-year orbit around it, is the most likely culprit for the color change of the planet's surface. This has another major implication. It means that there is more to this dwarf planet, aside from it being the outermost object in our solar system. Scientists must continue to probe Pluto and study it, and not be embroiled in the current controversy on whether to change its designation as a planet, dwarf planet, or mere chunk of ice. This sentiment is echoed by many astronomers and scientists all over the world. According to the director of the Hayden Planetarium in New York City, it is only Americans who are obsessed with Pluto, but the rest of the world, in his estimation, are not that interested in it. But there is more to know about Pluto. It is time to invest more in studying this fascinating dwarf planet. The more scientists probe into Pluto, the more they will understand the mysteries that lie behind the solar system. Be sure to subscribe for more Space Rewind, and tell us in the comments what you would like to see next in an upcoming video.